according to my friend Chad, a lot of tortoise die, tortoises die from impaction. You can tell it's a pretty big pile of urates. What's going on everyone? It is Hayden here again with State 48 Turtle and Tortoise. Today we've got an awesome video, video for you. Um, we are going to be talking about a question that commonly gets asked on the tortoise forums on Facebook all the time. Um, if you saw the thumbnail and title, you already know what it's about. We're going to be talking about the white stuff in tortoise's pee. And the white chunky stuff that comes out that kind of looks like toothpaste. Um, whenever the tortoise is pee. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to explain what it is, uh, if it's good or bad. And we're going to go ahead and uh, start this video off showing you a couple clips and pictures below of my tortoises and their urates. And then uh, I'm going to tell you guys exactly what it is and what it means. Check that stuff out. Hey, hey, real quick guys, before we get too deep into this video, we're almost at 300 subscribers. Leroy really, really wants to get to 300 subscribers, don't you, bud? I want to get to 300 subscribers, huh? So, if you guys do me a favor, click the subscribe button right now. But let's get to the rest of the video. See this tortoise, guys? It just drank a bunch of water and voided all of its urates. Comes out in their pee. They usually will do it after they drink water. Here we have a very large pile of urates. As you can tell, it's a pretty big pile of urates. It consists, and look, we got more urates here in their water, which is really common for them to expel urates in their water. But let me show you guys this. This is a really common question. It gets asked, hey, is, it, is it okay? What is this white stuff? It's totally normal. But as you can tell, it's like a grainy, kind of slimy toothpaste consistency. And this is a lot, like, this, <laughs> I've never seen this big of a pile before, but there's a big pile of urates from one of the tortoises. Probably one of the bigger ones. And there's the little box turtle out and about. All right, also, before I forget, chickens haven't been getting enough uh, screen time, I guess, according to my friend Chad. Um, this used to be all dandelion greens, and uh, Chad wanted them to have screen time, so now they have destroyed my garden. So we've got whatever this one is, I think it's an Americana or whatever, uh, white leghorn and an Easter egg or hybrid, something else mixed in with it. And show you guys a little more. The Easter egg and the Americana laid eggs. Or the uh, the the other two, not the Easter egg. -er. But these they lay huge eggs. One of them lays spotted eggs, brown eggs, and this one lays just a light brown. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set these aside. Because Sophie's been eating their poop and she knows she's in trouble. We'll go ahead and... Uh, set these bad boys aside and then we'll jump back into talking about those clips alrighty guys so they have destroyed my garden but it's almost time for summer gardening um, but you're right come into my office everyone okay so let's talk about this I'll try and not get weird shadows but I've got tortoises in the background what are your rates what is the white stuff in my tortoise's pee? Um, simple watered down version of what it is. It is excessive uric acid, minerals, and just bodily waste that the tortoises excrete. Most often, this is going to occur when they are drinking or when I hose them down or when they feel like they need to pee. It comes out in their pee, sometimes comes out in their poop. Allow me to show you. This area right here is 
a mud hole I commonly fill. Always has urates in it. This is where they get water from every day. There are always pockets of urates around it because they get a drink and then they expel their pee, which is urates. Every so often, they're all sunbathing right now, it'll actually come out in their poop. But you can see here, I had this filled up right here yesterday, watering things down, and a couple of them expelled urates. This is not an issue, them expelling these urates. Um, however, it can be problematic. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give you my opinion. If you are hydrating your tortoises and giving them the opportunity to pee a lot, urinate a lot, this is going to allow them to have a better opportunity to filter those urates through their body because um, their kidneys obviously filter that their urine and filters out all this nasty stuff. Um, this is my cheat sheet earlier, although I don't even need it. Um, but the urates are not an issue. However, they can become an issue. If you notice your tortoise is excreting a lot of urates like all the time and it's kind of a lot, probably means that the diet you're giving them isn't correct or you're giving them too much of something and that's why they're excreting a lot of urates um, but urates are super healthy it's super good for them um, sometimes if it's really pebbly and kind of stony it can be an issue um, because we've seen a lot of tortoise die, tortoises die from impaction because their urates get inside of them it turns kind of gets blocked up and when you get a urate that's the size of a golf ball inside of a smaller tortoise that can't pass it through their cloaca or the hole in their tail where they poop from, pee from everything. Um, it pretty much blocks their system up and a very well started healthy tortoise can die from that. Um, but that's a very, very uncommon thing to occur. But honestly, it's not an issue. Those of you out there who are freaking out, like, oh no, my tortoise peed white poop. You're okay, don't worry. You saw all the different videos that I just posted before this. Um, little snippets, pictures, whatever, of um, basically what the urates look like. They're gonna look most of the time almost like a little bit of toothpaste. Okay, maybe a little bit grainy of toothpaste, but uh, it's not an issue. Um, just keep an eye on it, make sure it's not too frequent, like I said. Um, but other than that, I just wanted to get you guys this out this quick video. Um, I'm trying to do a little bit more educational content when I can, uh, based on the limited knowledge I have inside my tiny little head here. Um, actually, I got a big head, but a tiny little brain. Um, so I'm trying to give you guys the knowledge that I know and the knowledge that I have, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, if you are watching this video and you haven't already clicked the subscribe button click the subscribe button right now guys i think by the time i'm filming this video it's actually friday afternoon this video is gonna go live right when i'm done um but i think i'm at like 300 or 293 subscribers so i'm literally six away from um getting 300 subscribers which my goal was 300 by the end of february so guys we are climbing we are growing uh making great strides. So if you can help me out there, that would be awesome. As always, if you need anything here, heat lamps, uh, pumps for your pond, anything like that that I use, that you see me use here in my yard, Missouri tortoise food, water turtle food, anything like that, link's gonna be in the description below. Um, but this is essentially gonna be a wrap on today's video. It's a short little one. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. I will catch you guys next Friday and maybe sometime before then with a little shorts, hashtag shorts video, um, which is basically like TikTok for YouTube. But if there's anything you guys want to see here, I apologize. I didn't give you guys enough turtle and tortoise content. Sophie is still recovering from her terrible haircut. Um, but I guess we'll show you guys the water turtles real quick since we haven't done that. And then we'll call the video a wrap. So let's see if we can grab one of the albinos. I pulled one out this morning. They're still pretty cold, but I think they're getting bigger. I need to go back and watch the video when I got them, but I'm pretty sure they're bigger. Oh, these things are awesome. Albino red eared slider, Clive line. Looking gorgeous. Can't wait to potentially produce these things this spring, but I oftentimes catch them, uh, the t turtles basking up on their platform here. Um, the water is, well, it's getting a weird reflection, but it's crystal clear. But we've got an algae problem we are gonna take care of. But that's gonna be a wrap for the video, guys. Appreciate you stopping by. Um, give you one more shot of the chickens, and we'll see you next time.